it tastes so good, so they have to feel guilty for that. <laughs> Hey, and welcome to this video. I'm going to explain why I'm eating like that and why I think that this sugar diet is actually safe. So most of people think that sugar is dangerous and that oil is okay, but I'm not doing that at all. As you can see on the chronometer screenshot at the end of my videos lately, I show what I'm eating and my diet is very high in carbs and very low in fats. So I still have some fat and some protein, but not so much in percentage of calories and why am I doing that? Well, if I want to eat so much sugar, there's no way um, I want to do that with uh, too much fat. Why? Because eating an excess amount of fat reduces the insulin sensitivity and when you're eating sugar, you know, carbs in general, then it increases your insulin sensitivity. I will let some links uh, in the description down below if you don't believe me, so you can see the studies for yourself. And yeah, so I have 500 grams of refined sugar in addition to, to my diet. So I'm not just eating sugar alone and <laughs> I'm eating actual food actually and sugar. So I have plenty of micronutrients and sugar and additional empty calories. It's not a problem. I have all the vitamins and minerals I need. I, I even have some protein and, and fats, so I'm fine. I'm feeling super happy. And I think, it, yeah, today is day five and I still, I feel fine. And before this challenge, I was eating sugar, but like, I don't know, maybe two times or three times in a week, like before or during a hard training. But I don't fear sugar because I, I know that sugar is not the worst enemy. I think oil, and animal products are the worst enemies, yeah. Animal fats and animal proteins, they are terrible for the health of humans and for the planet. And for animals too. Um, so it's safe. <laughs> this sugar challenge is safe if, if you're not adding oil or fatty foods to your diet. It's okay to add fatty foods just one or two times a week, I think, but not more. <laughs> because you want to keep your insulin working well just by eating a lot of carbs and not much fats. So I'm not becoming a diabetic, <laughs> certainly not. And I'm not becoming obese either or fatter. As you could see, that my weight is slightly going down, even with the additional extra calories that I'm not supposed to, to use, but I'm actually using them. My body is burning the extra sugars as thermogenesis, adaptive thermogenesis. But that's cool. <laughs> Losing weight and eating more calories. Everybody wants that, right? But if you're not ready to, to reduce a lot your fat intake, then this diet is not for you. And I'm not getting addicted to sugar, like I eat it because it's a challenge, but you'll see after one month of sugar challenge, I can stop the sugar and I don't need to eat it. Like it's cool to have it, but I don't need it. It's not a drug. Sugar is a nutrient. After digestion, you have to know that the carbohydrates from starches or from fruit or from isolated sugar, they become the same after digestion. They are the same. If you look at them under a microscope, they're the same. So <laughs> don't worry for that. Anyway, what is a drug? Yeah, it's something that gets you addicted, which is not the case here. And let's take the example of cocaine because people say, oh, one study had said that Cocaine is not as addictive as sugar. Well, sugar is a nutrient. It would be absurd to say that humans are addicted to the oxygen of the air. Well, saying that we are addicted to sugar is likewise. And then drugs have harmful side effects. And I don't have any bad side effect from sugar. Um, I think people believe that sugar is bad because it tastes so good, so they have to feel guilty for that. <laughs> 
sadly pe most people are too gullible and then they try to do diets, yo-yo diets, so like keto diets and stuff and their, their weight goes up and down, up and down. And they're on diet for their whole life. The amazing thing in this diet is that I can eat as much as I want. If I want more, then I have more. More rice or more sugar, more fruit. And that's so cool. No restriction. Time to check my weight. Still going down. <laughs> the real breakfast at 10 a.m. Watermelon. And after the watermelon, I have eaten one banana and then three more bananas. And then at 1 p.m. I had some white rice with some diluted soy sauce, chives, some dried basil, and also pepper and garlic in powder.